Um, hey everyone. I haven't vlogged in a while. I know. I apologize. I've been busy, you know, with life and things. Um, but I thought it would be about time again. My friend Diana actually, um, gave me a whole bunch of ideas for this vlog and asked me a whole bunch of questions that I can answer in the vlog and it should be fun. I love her to pieces. I love you to pieces, Diana. And yeah, the world is a better place because of you and I want you to know that. Okay? Um, first of all, Joseph Gordon-Levitt um, has been on tour recently and at least at some of his venues he's been singing the Lady Gaga song, Bad Romance. It's pretty much the best thing I've ever seen. So, if you haven't seen it yet, look it up on YouTube because it's amazing. And he's amazing. That's really all there is to it. Now, for those still doubting the artistic integrity of Lady Gaga, <laughs> this next verse has three Hitchcock references <laughs> and the use of the word shtick. Which is pretty good for a shiks of guys. I want your psycho, your vertigo shtick. <laughs> I want you in my rear window, baby, you're sick I want your love Love, 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 I want your love Speaking, of course, of Joseph Gordon-Levitt He was recently in uh, the movie Inception Along with Leonardo DiCaprio, Ellen Page And a whole bunch of talented people If you haven't seen that, go see that too Um... Another movie that is coming out soon is Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter, and I'm not ashamed of it. I'm not ashamed to say that I love Harry Potter. I am officially stating I love Harry Potter, and I'm a self-acclaimed Harry Potter nerd. Emma Watson recently cut her hair very short, if you haven't seen. She has a pixie cut now. I think it looks awesome, but there's a lot of controversy about it. I guess some people won't like it, but I find it stunning. Of course, in the Harry Potter movie, it's not that short. Because she's Hermione and, you know, one of her trademarks is the big bushy hair. So. Now I'm going to answer some of Diana's questions. Um, because I love her and she sent in awesome questions. And, you know, it's fun! What can you do if you only have eggs, milk, bread, and Coca-Cola in your house? She says what she usually does is she fries the eggs, puts them on buttery toast, and she drinks milk mixed with Coca-Cola. What I would do if I had those four things is I would drink the Coca-Cola by itself, and then I'd use the eggs, milk, and bread to make French toast. Uh, then she says, talk about what it's like to be a Russian clown. I couldn't be because I'm not Russian, but it might be kind of cool, you know. Do you like tribal tattoos? That depends. I really find it tacky if you have a tribal tattoo and you're not even part of any tribe. It's the same thing when people get Celtic symbols tattooed on them and they don't have a Celtic heritage. I mean, I think it's kind of stupid. If it's part of your culture, if it's part of your heritage, if that means something to you, I mean, go for it, yeah, for sure. Do it. If you're into that. Would you live on a salami planet? Wow, that is a tricky question. I mean, it's no secret that I like salami. It's pretty much the reason that I'm not a vegetarian. But if I would want to live on a whole planet made of salami, probably not. It probably wouldn't smell very good. And imagine how many pigs would have to die. So no, I would not live on a salami planet. Barbecue chicken or Hawaiian pizza? Definitely Hawaiian pizza. I'm a sucker for Hawaiian pizza. I think it's the pineapple. I mean, it just makes it good. And she says, talk about writing a novel. This is true. This year, over Labor Day weekend, I did the three-day novel challenge, which means um, you write or you attempt to write a novel in three days or 72 hours. I think it was September 4th, 5th, and 6th. So yeah, I did it, and I did complete it. I'm very proud of myself. I mean, it was my first year, so I didn't write as much as a lot of the entrants did. Um, I wrote about between 13,000 and 14,000 words. So yeah, it was a good experience, but oh my goodness, so hectic and stressful. And um, 
I mean, I wrote it based on real events, so definitely a roller coaster ride as far as emotions go. Yeah, we'll see. We won't know the results of the contest till January, so I will update you when I know more things. Also, a few people have been asking me if they can read the novel. I'm sorry, but I can't give it out to anyone yet because it's part of the contest rules. Until the um, winners have been announced, no one else can read the novel. And I can't publish it anywhere or nothing like that. So, I really appreciate, appreciate people wanting to read it, like, a lot. But I'm sorry, I have to sit tight and wait. But then you can. Uh, Craig Ferguson is having another baby. His wife is pregnant again, and it's pretty exciting news. There are probably many girls in the world right now that are jealous that, that she gets to bear his children and not them. But he is pretty advanced as far as age goes, but he's pretty fine. He is pretty fine. Anyways, I'm really happy for him. That is, like, excellent news. Yeah, can you imagine if that were your father? I mean, how great would that be? Um, what do I think about guinea pigs? You know, I've always been on the fence with guinea pigs. I mean, they're cute, but they're, they're kind of weird looking at the same time. And with all their fur that's not even soft, you can't even really see their eyes. And they have really sharp teeth. And, I mean, I like guinea pigs a lot. And I will always, like, pet them and be nice to them if you have one. But I don't know if I would ever get a guinea pig. I'd rather have, like, a hamster or a bunny or something. Speaking of bunnies, I am living in Victoria now. I'm going to the University of Victoria this year, and there are bunnies everywhere on campus, which I'm sure everyone knows, but my goodness, they are so cute. I've decided I like the gray ones the best, and also the black ones with little white detailing are so cute. And right now, I still love them, and I look at them, and my heart melts, and a lot of people say after a while of being at UVic, you kind of get desensitized to that. You don't feel that anymore. Like, you look at a bunny, you're just like, oh, it's part of your regular daily environment. And I hope that doesn't happen to me. I always want them to, like, melt my heart. I've also been asked um, to say a few words about Shark Week. I know it's been a while since it was Shark Week. Shark Week. Um, I'm a little bit late when saying this, but I haven't vlogged in a while, as I said, but... Shark Week was awesome, and um, I can't wait till the next one. Diana has also requested that I um, say something in sign language. I am taking sign language this year um, at school. A lot of people are asking me why I'm taking it, and they're like, what's the practicality of that? And I honestly don't really care. It's something I've always, always wanted to learn. I'm loving it so far. I mean, it's only been a couple weeks, but so far it's really good. I know how to say my name is Alina, which goes as follows. Um, that's all the questions. I mean, I guess that's pretty much all I have to say. That covered everything, eh? Ooh, I also have red hair now. I can't really see it that well right now. And actually, when I dyed it, it was really purple. But now, it's been about, um, a little over a week, I guess. And it's just pretty much red now. But I still like it anyways. I guess that's all for now. Um, I'm gonna try to vlog again soon. If anyone has suggestions for what I should talk about in the next vlog, please let me know. Everyone have a wonderful day, evening, night, and um, just be wonderful and be good. And I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye. I know that I want you. I want you. I want it bad. Bad romance.